The Kwandai Senior High School is the only government-run second cycle institution in the district. The institution, being a boarding school, has large enrollment but faces challenges. The guest dormitory, for instance, is overcrowded and students live with rodents. Oh. Three months ago, after the mission team had visited the school, another tragedy befell it. Portions of roof of the female dormitory was ripped off by a storm. Cortices belonging to VRE, I am made to understand, that accommodated some of our staff also was affected. On the you know, impact of the rainstorm, we had 60 of our girls being displaced. In fact, property including textbooks, exercise books, mattresses, dresses, were soaked. And four of them were injured, including the wife of the senior housemaster who runs a provision store on campus. They were hospitalized for three days. The school authorities then allocated the boys' dormitory for the guests to occupy. Subsequently, the boys were moved to the classrooms. This has deepened the challenges of the school. This dry season like this, the way we occupy the space and sleep, we find it difficult to sleep inside. Two people on a bed and it's too small. We, can't, we don't know how to lie down, no space for us. There is no fire in the room. The heat alone can create a lot of things for us. We are pleading to them that they should come and complete the buildings for us so that those that are coming, they should come and live in a comfortable place. But we will not enjoy it, but we are praying it's for our genius to come and take over for us. But the Pandai District Assembly has moved in to complete a structure which had stalled for lack of funds. At the time of our visit, work was briskly going on. The structure, when completed, will accommodate all girls of the school. A test conducted on the defected dormitory shows that the structure is weak and cannot be renovated. The building you are referring to from behind is actually being worked on purposely to accommodate, hopefully, all the girls so that we move them from the affected building because it's looking a bit shaky and keeping them there any longer is not the best. District Chief Executive for Pandai, Emmanuel Atta Tatablata, said the Assembly is keen to improve education in the district. The MP has given 30,000 and then uh, he said that well, assembly we should also have something at least uh, to finish the project up. You know, government alone cannot do everything. So people that have also um, school here and they are also better off somewhere, we are appealing to them to also come to our aid. Dining is done in the open. With the current situation, it will take the intervention of the Ghana Education Service to improve infrastructure at the Pandai Senior High School. Stanley Niblu, TV3 News, Pandai.